So this presentation covers the APS 7th edition references. So this presentation would have the main references that you would require for most of the paper. And then I will have a different uh, video uploaded for you for other kind of references that you would be using. So anytime you feel like um, stopping the video, you can stop it and see how to put your references. So what do we have in reference list made? Basically, we have four things that are required for all the references. One is your author, one is your date, one is your title and the source. This is important. If you do not have these, this information, then your reference is not complete. So author, as we all know, who's responsible for the work, who has written the work. Date is very important in APA. So when was it published? It's important. Um, if there is no date, of course, we know we put ND and all that, but the, these are the requirements. Then the title of the work and the source where you got the information from. And so this is how basically it looks like. Uh, so the title is <clears throat> the side title of your book or your article, whatever you were talking about. Um, that's what it is. So what is the work called? then who is your author the name of the person who wrote it um, date when it was published and the source where you got it from so this is basically how our source entry looks like author's name date the title and the source so here i have compiled all these different references that you're going to put here um, so you can, like I said, you can always stop it, you can pause it and look at it. So this is um, an article, journal article. Uh, this is how we put in references and on the on the bottom you will see how you can have parenthetical citation for that particular source that you're finding, okay? So this is one of the sources that you found. So how uh, this should match always this one here, the first word whatever whether it's author's last name or its article name it should always match with your in-text citation it should not be different you cannot write something else here and then in your reference uh, it is something else all right so author's last name whatever it is here goes here too so i in other video i have already showed you how you can have two different kinds of citation narrative citation and parenthetical citation so if it is a parenthetical citation in your uh, paper, it would be inside the parenthesis, the author's name and the year of publication. And if it's narrative, then you can put the name of the author outside the parenthesis. But in parenthesis, you have to write the name, I'm sorry, the date of the publication of the article. So this is how a journal article entry would look like. Then this is a magazine article, how you're going to do, see here. The difference is here in your journal article, you are only writing the year of publication. In your magazine article, you are also giving the exact date when it was published because magazines are published weekly, quarterly, um, you know, half yearly, yearly. So that's why it's important that you give the exact date of the magazine article but you do not give, need to give the date if it is not a magazine all right but the in text citation you just give the year of the publication not the exact date when it was published newspaper article is the same you have to give the exact date when that article was published so newspaper article and your magazine would need you to put the exact date here all right also remember when you're writing the name of your the title of your article it's only the first letter in the first word that would be capital rest you have to make sure that they are lowercase unless it's a proper noun unless it's a name like here north korea is the name of a country so that's why n is capital k is capital but rest everything is lowercase all right, so this is how you put the newspaper article. These days, blogs, uh, we go and we, you know, read blogs and there are some people 
uh, who post you know regular information in their blog so how to cite your blogs again you will cite <coughs> it here in your narrative uh, citation or parenthetical citation the name of the author so blog posts follow the same format as your journal article so last name of the author first initial again the date is very important and then what was the name of the <clears throat> you know, blog post and then you're going to provide us with the link all right so this is how you're going to post your um, blog post references then there are something that is called comment on a blog post so if it is a comment so you see here now this one changes this would be the username of the person who's commenting on that blog post so you will write the username the date exact date and whatever the person has written so you'll say it's a comment on the blog post and then you will give the exact uh, title of what did he comment it on all right so this would be so you see it's lowercase because it's a username so it would be lowercase you do not have to make it uppercase so cite the person who left the comment as the author using the format that appears with the comment all right so you have to give exact comment in your reference all right then a book book's name is always italicized so this is the name of the book same um, you're going to write author's last name uh, first initial year of publication and then you're going to write the name of the book this is how you will write the parenthetical citation here and this is the name of the publisher so like i said wherever you have to stop you can stop the video and see it okay then sometimes we have some materials we post on on your you know learning management system whether using blackboard or canvas or whatever so anything that you are getting from the course uh, from your class with the author you will write author's name like this um, then the article name or the title of that particular course or you know whatever the name of um, and the information that is posted there you're going to put that here like this and then you will give the page numbers and of course the university is very important which university was it posted on like if you're doing from your university you will write your university's name all right so this is how the parenthetical cited citations usually remain the same author author's last name and year of publication is what is required for your parenthetical citation so this is not different but yes here sometimes the things change religious works sometimes you also cite like bible and other religious works this is how we cite we would um give the exact edition what it is whether it's a translation whether it's original work so whatever it is this is how you would be putting that then your online dictionary most of the students they use online dictionaries for certain definitions so this is how we would be uh, <clears throat> posting them so you have to write the exact date when you retrieve that and uh, write the name of the dictionary and then if you have a date fine if you don't have a date then you will put nd all right print dictionary print dictionaries would have the date online you would not have the date but print ones definitely would have the dates and addition so this is how you're going to put that okay right now this is a very tricky one don't quote me on this one remember that wikipedia entries are prohibited by most of the professors but it could be a wiki let's say it's a wiki you're using for the class or for the course so this is how you would be using the entry now you see my note here it says if you are a student ask your professor whether wikipedia is an appropriate source for you to use in your paper wikipedia reports information from other sources making it a secondary source sometimes your professor would prefer to uh, cite primary sources so always ask your professor i always tell you that please do not start writing your work without reading the assignment guidelines and asking your professor whether you can use it or not okay so this is your wikipedia um, entry references just for your knowledge if ever you have to do it all right 
And that will be all for now. And I'll be posting more information in my other videos.